Will the monkeypox pandemic start before the election or after? Well, that depends on how much gay sex you're having, I guess. The World Health Organization declared on August 15th that the increasing spread of monkeypox in Africa is a global health emergency. They're warning the virus might spread across international borders. Consider these facts, though. 90% of all cases are in Africa. 96% of all cases and deaths are in the Congo. Out of that country's nearly 20,000 reported cases, it's killed nearly 600 people. These numbers have already outpaced last year's numbers. But where did this come from? Well, monkeypox was discovered in 1958. It's since been rebranded as Mpox, as experts suggest the virus originated from rodents instead of monkeys. Mpox belongs to the same family as smallpox, but is considered less severe. Symptoms include fever, chills, and body aches. More serious cases can cause lesions on the face, hand, chest, and genitals. A new strain of Mpox has spread to Burundi, Central African Republic, Rwanda, and Uganda. According to scientists, this strain is mutating more rapidly than expected. Dr. Demi Ogania of the Niger Delta University Hospital says experts, quote, don't understand the outbreak very well. Europe's first case of Mpox clade 1 came from Sweden on the same day the WHO declared an emergency, August 15th. A week later, Asia's first case came from Thailand. A fast mutating virus that no one understands and is spreading across the globe? Hey, I think I've seen this movie before. Is it called COVID-19? Now, Mpox has two main subtypes, clade 1 and clade 2. The new strain that is circulating and causing a panic is clade 2, and it's considered to be 10 times more deadly than clade 1. Hmm, this sounds like the faulty COVID model that predicted millions of deaths early on in the COVID pandemic. Remember that? So how deadly, though, is clade 2? So far, it's looking like clade 2 has a mortality rate of up to 10%. Here's the fun part. Previous outbreaks of Mpox usually just affected homosexual populations. Gay sex be needed no more. While it may be transmitted initially through gay sex, it's then getting passed on more broadly to family members and so on and so on. At least that's what the so-called experts are saying. Is any of this true? Who knows? We all experienced the COVID pandemic together and know how mainstream medical experts sold us a lie. It was all poppycock the whole time. Remember how it was racist to say it was a lab leak in Wuhan? And that it was racist to even call it the China virus, even though it came from China. As the old adage goes, first time shame on you, second time shame on me. I'll fly this next pandemic solo like I did the last one. Thank you very much. Hopefully more people will too, and this grip that these science czars have on American brains will finally break. New Zealand is ready to use police force to vaccinate you for this next pandemic, though. Don't believe me? Read page 125 of their new pandemic plan. It states, and I quote, that a member of the police may do anything reasonably necessary, including the use of force, to help a medical officer of health or any person authorized by the medical officer of health in the exercise or performance of powers or functions. Well, that sounds like a swell time. We all know how Kamala Harris will handle the next pandemic. Let's not forget old Joe's sweeping vaccine mandates for federal workers, contractors, and companies with more than 100 employees. He also forced the military to take the jab. And I don't remember Kamala Harris saying she would do anything different. Want to leave America if Mpox becomes another pandemic? Well, you can't really do that. There's nowhere to run to escape this type of draconian insanity and tyranny that we saw last time. It's only going to get worse. The WHO held their annual meeting at the World Health Assembly. At this year's meeting, all 194 member countries agreed on a package of amendments to the international health regulations. They've also agreed to complete negotiations by 2025 at the latest, possibly as early as 2024. These international health regulations were first established in 2005, but the COVID-19 pandemic triggered the WHO to get more strict, more draconian. The new amendments have been getting hashed out in the intergovernmental negotiating body since 2021. And in case you missed it, all 194 members have agreed to complete negotiations as early as this year or next year at the latest. Unlike what Reagan said, freedom isn't just one generation away from extinction. It's now just a year. Thanks for listening to Overnight Opinions. Be sure to tune in next Sunday night for an all-new episode. 
In the meantime, if you're looking to enlighten yourself with some controversial topics, check out my interview with Celeste Solemn, who talks about how the global elite are planning to kill you. Or check out my interview with Dustin Nemos, who talks about how Trump is the Antichrist and how Trump staged his assassination attempt. Those interviews are so controversial, you'll only find them on BitChute, Rumble, and Brideon.